Motorcycles was something that I grew up with, with having in the family. My grandpa still rides, uh, my dad rides. It was just something that we got brought up doing as, as little kids. That was just, it was just normal for us. The first Kawasaki I had was a KX60. I just rode around in second gear and, and never shifted the thing and, and always had uh, my dad yelling at me to, to shift obviously I wasn't I didn't know how to shift didn't know what it, gears were I, I was brought up doing it it was just a way of life and and I started getting better at it we started doing more racing riding um, and it just evolved into it you know um, but it wasn't something that was like I'm going to be professional at this sport I wasn't a real dominant amateur racer I, I, I did well um, and you know like with 10, 11, 12 really it was more or less my dad kind of seeing that I had something special at that point you know for me I was just out there riding. <laughs> we always could see the program that Kawasaki had and that's what we wanted. Yamaha didn't have that, Honda didn't have it, nobody had it. Kawasaki was, was the place to be and is still the place to be if you're an amateur. It's always fun to go to the races, and the races is kind of the easy part. Um, going there, hanging out, and, and just it's, it's a week-long deal. So, um, you know, it's always fun just to go there. You know, nobody drives and puts in the work and puts in the effort to, to go there and, and not win. So my dad basically told me that's that's what you know that's what we're here for. And once it actually once it was serious, you learned at an early age that that winning is is what you want to be doing. <laughs> We've had a target on our back for three years. Coming into this this year, we, you know, everybody, you're only as good as your last race or your, or your last championship. It started off so rough, and really the turning point in the season was five wins that I had straight, and that's kind of where things really started to move quickly, and, and the ball was in my court. If the race, if Ryan wants it to be, I can tell you that. You know, if he comes into the farm and he's got an irritated look on his face, it's going to be a bad day for everyone else. It was interesting because throughout his amateur career, Mike Alessi was his rival. And more times than not, Alessi beat him. But he kept getting better. I, I mean, there's no doubt that getting second, you know, kind of stokes the fire. Because he had developed these skills and a technique and a, um, you know, a foundation for his racing that when he became a professional is when it all came together and then he's just unleashed the fury on the rest of the competition. It's, it's really tough for parents and the child to keep it all into perspective. And I think that the Villapotos have done a great job with that. In 2013, you're seeing Ryan Villapoto as, as being one of the best. And I think, I personally think that before it's all said and done, his career, he'll be right there with the best ever. Well, it's been a wild night of racing so far here in Salt Lake City. One of the slowest corners of the year has caused some of the most havoc and it should be spectacular as we work our way to the main event. The number one, Ron Villapoto stays ahead of both the 18 of Saps, the 5 of Dungey, he can secure the title tonight. So we have seen some crazy things tonight already. Don't touch that dial, folks. We're ready to go.
it's a bummer, but there is no time to kind of sit back and look at what you've done because it's always looking to the next thing, what has to be done to stay at the top of the game. It's a very short career. It's, it, the, to stay on top, it's, it's, you know, you're just teetering on the top, you know, so you try to stay up there as long as you can. This is the only thing I know. This is the only thing I've, I've ever done, so I can't compare it to anything. It'll, you know, definitely it'll, it'll be uh, something to enjoy looking back on. Um, and I think each year that passes, you know, you'll be getting faster and faster in your own mind.